In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable and use the dictation feature on Mac OS. To enable dictation, the first thing we're going to do is to click on the Apple menu icon on the top left hand corner of the screen. Click on system preferences and then we're going to go into the keyboard settings and then click on the dictation tab. The first thing we're going to do is turn dictation on and when you do that, you'll see a pop-up dialog box appear warning you that what you dictate will be sent to Apple and converted to text. So it's using Siri's web-based technology to help your Mac recognize what you're saying. Other information is sent as well, such as the names of your contacts. So as you can see, this is a privacy concern. If you are trying to dictate confidential documentation, I would highly recommend that you don't enable this feature. If it's insensitive information that you're doing for personal reasons or any type of schoolwork, for example, I think it's fine. But for those of you running a business with any confidentiality concerns, I would suggest to avoid using this feature. So for the demonstration purposes at hand, I'm going to enable dictation. And the next step is to click on the microphone and select the microphone that you'd like to use. Now, most of you would just have the internal microphone option available. I've got a complex audio setup, so I have my Thronmax MDRAW-1 USB microphone as an option, as well as some other mic inputs. So if you just leave it to automatic or internal microphone, the main thing is you wanna be seeing that the level in the microphone is moving up and down to indicate that you are actually getting an audio source. So if you're seeing the level meter move up and down, then you're pretty much ready to go. Let's close that window. And to use dictation, you can either open up Apple Pages, which is the word processing software that comes with your Mac, or you could do so directly inside Mac Mail which is the email application. For this example, I'm going to use pages. To enable dictation, simply place the cursor in the document where you'd like the dictation to begin. Go to the edit menu and select start dictation, or you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is world D or function D, depending on which keyboard you have. So I'm going to enable the dictation. And when I do that, a little dictation icon appears on the left-hand corner of the document. And as you can see, it's now repeating the text that I'm speaking directly into the microphone and it's placing it into the document for me. And it's doing a very good job interpreting pretty much every word that I'm speaking out straight into the document. The only thing missing is punctuation. So let's begin punctuating as I speak full stop. Now you can see there is a full stop. And if I like, I could even place a comma into this sentence. And this will help you in getting a close to perfect representation of your speech to text that you could use to directly send an email or in your word processing documents. Now there are going to be some situations where it will not interpret your words 100%, especially if you have a slight accent as I do with the Australian accent. But really, it seems to have done a great job. I don't think it's made many mistakes at all. But if it does make a mistake, when your dictation is complete, comma, you can then go back in and edit the document. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.